Well, Sean, first off, new contract for you. You must be very happy to have put pen to paper. Yeah, I'm delighted to get it done now. I've uh, enjoyed my time at Reading since I've been here and um, looking forward to this season now. I mean, the next 12 months, I mean, hopefully, you know, have you got any plans in particular of what you'd like to achieve in that time? Well, we have the new manager now, Yap Stam. He's very well known in the football world. Like, he's, he demands like a lot of respect for what he's done in his career. So I'll just be looking to try and impress him in pre-season and try to get into his plans. And then um, we'll sit down at the end of pre-season and then see where we are from there. Mm. And absolutely, I mean, in particular as well as someone who played in in, def in defence. I mean, you can always learn little little bits and pieces from from what he's achieved in that, in that position. Yeah, exactly. Like he's played for top clubs. He's played at international level. He's he's he has abundance of experience, which which I'll be looking to sort of like dive into and take as much as I can to to help me improve my game. And I'm, I'm sure in the last 12 months you must reflect on that and think you've you've learnt a lot as well. I mean, first off, we think about those loan spells. You went and played a bit of football league football with uh, with Luton, and then and then played at Braintree in, in what was a, a pretty amazing season for them to come close so close. Yeah, exactly. To go out on loan was it, it was great. Like getting that experience in a four team football uh, with a crowd and like the playing for points and things like that. So I went to Luton for three months and enjoyed my time there. We went through a bit of a difficult time. And um, while I was there, but um, I learned a lot. Came back here, played a few 21s games, and then I went to Braintree uh, in the football league, and we missed out on the a spot at Wembley, which was um, it was hard to take. But as I said, like at Luton, I learned so much at Braintree as well, and I'm um, grateful for the two clubs to, that took me. Like, and um, it's only going to help me in my career. That, those are really important experiences for, for the reason you mentioned there, playing in front of the crowds, playing when it, it really matters and I, I guess when you get a taste of that you just want to do that more and more. That's it, yeah, you just, when I, when, when I did get the taste of it I just said like I need to be doing this every week, just Saturday, Tuesday, whatever it is, Saturday, Saturday, like that's what you want, you want to be playing in front of a crowd, you want to be, have that buzz of waking up either on a Saturday morning going to the game or Tuesday night so yeah hopefully if I work hard and um, just put in the work I'll, I'll get there, yeah. Mm. But of course, I mean, even if that doesn't necessarily happen all the time, we've got a really good setup here with the, you know, the youth structure and the twenty ones here play at the top level. So you've got plenty of opportunities with that, which you did last year, and uh, and also you've been with uh, with Ireland as well at youth level. So you've had some good experiences at those levels too. Yeah, as you said, the setup here is brilliant, and that goes down to the to Eamon Dolan, which um, we sadly lost. So um, he was a great man and helped everyone at Redden, and. Um, he has to get a lot of, a lot of respect for what he's done here, and obviously to play for Ireland, it's very proud for me to play for them. I've played right through up the age groups, so the next step now is the senior team. So hopefully with them, um, with a bit more hard work, I can get there. Well, congratulations one more time on your new contract. Thank you Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Yeah.